If you're building a 3-inch quad, right now the 1306 motor is the go-to motor size for this class. There are several manufacturers that make 3100 kV-ish motors uh, in this class which are well suited for 4S operation. You get about 30,000 RPM out of them under load. Now DYS also makes a 4000 kV version of the same size motor which gives you about the same power from a 3S pack. Usually when these motors come up in discussion the question gets asked, could you run the 4000 kV motor at 4S? And well the question, the answer is you could, but there's really no point. These motors are already beginning to torque out under th uh, normal loads on 4S and 3S. So if you start increasing the power to these, all of that electrical energy basically just gets turned into heat. You get very little power for the amount of energy that you put into the motor out of it. But no one's looking, so let's just do it anyway. But don't hold your breath, we're not going to find any surprises here. Here is the results of the test. I've listed uh, both the sustained value, which is the same uh, for my recent 3-inch prop test. These are the values that are recorded over the long 100% throttle run during the test. And just because we're playing with extremes, I also listed here the absolute peak highest single samples that were recorded. So these aren't really representative. You know, this can be noise and, and whatnot, but they're still kind of fun to just see. This gives us a full 439 grams of thrust, which is just insane for uh, this little 1306 motor. We were pulling 15.5 amps, which doesn't seem like too much, but considering we're at 4S, we're, there's a lot more energy in that, and that's 246 watts. The efficiency was horrific down at 1.78 grams per watt. Uh, remember we were at something like 2.6 uh, on the 3S test on, on this motor. And for a theoretical load, if we take the kV of the motor and multiply it out, it gives an approximation of how fast the motor would spin unloaded. We're at 48% load, nearly 50% loaded down. The wattage here is really pretty insane. DYS rates this motor for 150 watts. You could definitely tell there's no way I was going to be able to run the like 30 second long test that we did on the 3S. You could smell the enamel starting to bake off. So running it at an even higher power level, I cut the test down to only a couple seconds for each segment, but even then, at 4S, starting dead cold, the motor was just too hot to touch when it's done. You have the same enamel smell coming off it, so it is definitely not in a happy place for this, this poor motor uh, at this power level. On the right, the little kind of pie chart things, I have uh, a comparison of uh, both the power and the uh, power in and thrust out of the 3S and 4S tests on the same motor, same prop. And in the blue you can see the 3S, and so on the inner ring we've got the wattage, and you can see the 3S is gets at peak uh, just about half the wattage of the 4S test. But if we look at the thrust, we're not getting double the thrust for the same amount of wattage we put into it. It's maybe a quarter more thrust, so you can very graphically see efficiency-wise as we push this motor way past its uh, torque limits, how we can dump twice the wattage into it, but we're not getting uh, all of that back in thrust. And then here is just efficiency over time. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at RPM instead of thrust since we have the same prop on, on both motors. The RPM measurement of the stand is uh, more accurate than the, the thrust uh, is. And it gives us more data over time. The, the sample rate's a, a lot higher on it. So you can see 3S and 4S pretty much right on top of each other. Uh, as you would expect, all the way up to about 136 watts, which is where the uh, 3S uh, test stopped and just kept on going once we put it on the 4S pack. And you can also, this will also very, you can visually see 
you know, 138 watts peak there, and the peak on our other test up here at 270, 280 watts, where we got twice as much uh, watts, twice as much electrical power into that, but it only got us another, like, single tick on the RPM, another 5,000 RPM or so. Well, five, six, seven RPM or so on that. So, yeah, it's just uh, kind of neat to see. You can really have an appreciation for how hard the motor uh, has to, to push to get just a little bit more speed out of the top end compared to anywhere else down the uh, line.